welcome to another story time with Pastor Tiffany. Today we're going to read the story, The Pirates Who Usually Don't Do Anything. This is a lesson in having faith. After surviving a storm and getting swallowed by a fish, Jonah is really feeling sorry for himself. So we're going to travel along with Jonah as he learns to trust God even when life gets really tough. Ahoy there! I'm Pa Great, and I'm the captain of this ship that doesn't go anywhere. I want you to meet a couple of my friends, Larry the Cucumber and Mr. Lunt. We're the pirates who don't do anything. And what that means is, we don't do anything. Nothing. Nada. Zip. But to be completely honest, we really did do something once. Just once. I figure you might want to hear about it. It's a good story. It was a very long time ago. We were hanging out down by the seashore, not doing much of anything, except for eating cheese curls. We love cheese curls. We love the way they go crunch. Anyway, this guy named Jonah showed up, and he wanted us to take him to a faraway place called Tarshish. We told him no way. After all, we're the pirates who don't do anything. Then he offered to pay us a whole mess of money. When we figured out how many cheese curls we could buy, we knew we ought to think about it. Even though we were the pirates who don't do anything, we love to eat cheese curls. So Jonah hopped aboard our ship and off to Tarshish we went. Just imagine, here we were, the pirates who don't do anything, and we were doing something after all. But don't tell anybody. We wouldn't want that part to get around. We hadn't gone very far when suddenly this huge, gigantic storm came up. Crash! Went the thunder. Splash! Went the waves. Crunch! Went the cheese curls. I eat when I'm nervous. Oy vey! That was me. It was a very scary storm. Anyway, we figured that somebody up there was pretty angry with somebody down here and it was time to find out who it was. That's when I got this great idea. We could play a card game called Go Fish. It's really fun. So we decided to play the game, but there was one rule. Whoever lost, lost, walked the plank because the loser was probably the person God was upset with down here. Everybody played the game. Larry, Mr. Lunt, and me, plus Jonah and this annoying worm named Khalil who sold stuff. I figured he was a troublemaker. But you know what? I was wrong. It wasn't Khalil who lost the game. It was Jonah. And sure enough, Jonah confessed he was to blame for everything. You see, Jonah was a prophet. That's a guy who gets messages from God and delivers them to others. God wanted Jonah to deliver a message to some people in Nineveh. But Jonah didn't listen. He ran away instead. That's because Jonah didn't like those Ninevites. They were really mean. They slapped each other with fish. Have you ever been slapped with a fish? Boy, does it sting. And it's all slimy. Anyway, Jonah didn't want to go there. And that's why he ran and jumped on board our ship. That's also why God sent a big, gigantic storm. So Jonah said if we tossed him overboard, God might keep the rest of us safe. But Larry told Jonah he didn't have to get tossed overboard. We had a plank. He could just walk off. So he did. Kaploosh. Sure enough, the storm stopped. It was a lot easier than anybody expected. So we tried to reel him back in. Larry tossed him a life preserver and Jonah grabbed it. That's when something amazing happened. A big fish swam up and swallowed Jonah, whole. One big gulp, just like that. When the fish started pulling us through the water, so we started shooting stuff at him. We loaded up the cannon with whatever we could find. First one, I shouted, kaboom. One shot out a tennis racket. Fire two, kaboom. One shot out some croquet mallets. Fire three. Kaboom! One shot out a bowling ball. The fish 
fish jumped up and swallowed the bowling ball. That was good for us, but not so good for Khalil. He was inside the ball. Khalil said that the bowling ball had rolled right up to Jonah inside the belly of the wheel. Khalil tried to cheer Jonah up, but old Jonah was being a real grumpy pants. Then all of a sudden they heard voices. Khalil said they heard some kind of musical number or something that told Jonah how God was a God of second chances. So Jonah prayed and asked God for a second chance to go to Nineveh and deliver God's message. And guess what happened? God gave him a second chance. Burp! The big fish burped Jonah and Khalil right out of his mouth and onto the sand. And surprise, Jonah's camel, Reginald, was there waiting for him. Jonah went to Nineveh and told those people, stop it. God didn't want them to keep slapping each other with fishes. God didn't like it when people are mean. And you know what? They obeyed God's message. Even the king was sorry for acting that way. So God gave the people in Nineveh a second chance, just like he gave Jonah a second chance. You know, sometimes we all need second chances. I know I do. Anyway, that's the one time the pirates who don't do anything actually did something. And it was so much fun, we're thinking, hey, maybe we should do stuff more often. But then again, maybe not. By the way, you got any cheese curls? God made you special and he loves you very much. I hope you have a wonderful night. See you next week. Bye-bye.